This episode of Life Hacker is brought to you by GoDaddy. Welcome to Life Hacker. Today is all about improvements and customizations. First, we're going to look at a better way to wrap your headphones. We're going to try to skip some floors on an elevator. Upgrade the hard drive in your MacBook to an SSD. Learn how to get just about anything customized, including your iOS home screen. And we'll also try to modify our apartments without pissing off our landlords, and of course, the downloads of the day. So let's get rolling. Gift cards, store discount cards, credit cards you never asked for. We get a lot of plastic these days. One cool way to reuse it all is to make a headphone detangler or an earbud wrapper. A way to take your headphones and put them away in a way so they don't get tangled or damaged. Headphones are one of those great inventions that have a crucial flaw. They're hard to put away in a neat fashion. There are of course solutions you can buy or you can just awkwardly wrap them around your phone or your iPod and let them get all tangled. Or you can grab a credit card or discount card you're not using, a pair of scissors, and make your own solution. This tip comes to the how-to site Instructables from the user Space Matters. The first step is simple, cut your card in half. You'll want to keep the half that doesn't have your card numbers on it, of course. Your freshly cut card can be pretty sharp, so round the corners if you'd like. Next, cut two slits in your card using your good scissors. They should be angled in the same direction, on opposite long sides of your half card. Then widen those slits just a bit, using your scissors, or a small hole punch if you have one, to create a slightly larger hole at the end. You want your cord to face just a bit of resistance when it's sliding in, but then tuck into the hole at the end without leaving any kinks or marks in the cord. All done? Try it out. Slide your headphones into the first opening, wrap the cord around, and end with the audio plug. If the notches aren't quite right, well, you'll probably get a junk credit card in tomorrow's mail to try again. Hopefully your days of cursing your tangled headphones are over due to the power of gratuitous credit. Hacker. So I rent my apartment and my landlord won't let me paint the walls or even nail a hook in the wall to hang a picture. So I'm wondering what I can do to customize my apartment without pissing off my landlord. So you want to decorate your apartment but you don't want to piss off your landlord. You want to make it look nice but you don't want to do anything destructive like paint the walls or nail things into them or whatever. There are lots of ways you can customize. Do not worry. One thing you can do is make use of photos. A lot of the times you'll see people hanging photos, but there are a lot of ways you can adhere them using just little uh, wall-safe sticky adhesive tape. Um, but you can also put them on clipboards and hang the clipboards. You can hang them on corkboard. You can find different ways to make them more visually appealing um, and without having to actually hang them in heavy frames. So there's that. There are also things uh, called vinyl wall uh, decals or, or stickers. And you can find those at stores like wallstickershop.com. And you can actually just adhere those onto your wall and they come right off. So you, you uh, just kind of push them onto your wall and the adhesive sticks, but it won't peel off any paint. They're totally wall safe. The other thing you can do if you want to get any custom items made for your walls, um, uh, like I had a few shapes cut out of uh, acrylic, for example, you can get those through Etsy. Now Etsy used to have a great service called Alchemy where it was really easy to just say, I want this, and then someone would give you a price and you'd say, okay, I'll pay that, and then they would send you what you want. It was wonderful. It's currently not available um, because Etsy decided to shut it down for a while while they uh, make it better or something. So there is currently a forum on Etsy where you can get the same sort of thing, but if you can't find any success through that, what you can do is go on Etsy and look for people who are making stuff similar to what you want and then just contact them directly. They can put together uh, an actual bid for you based on what you want and then you can just buy it just like it was any normal item on Etsy. So those are a few ways you can customize your apartment without destroying it. Good luck and have fun. If you want to get where you're going fast on an elevator, we've always heard that there's a shortcut that works on Otis, Dover, and most desert branded elevators that will skip the floors even if someone's there waiting and go directly to your floor. That shortcut is press the close button on the elevator at the same time you press the floor you want to go to and supposedly it will skip those floors. So we're at Adam Dotchess's apartment. He has an Otis branded elevator here and we're going to try it out. Okie dokie, we're going to go back 
down the key one. Otis. Okay. Floor two. Close. Two. Show me your magic. All right. All right. Did not work. Very good. Well, clearly that did not work well. Uh, we've heard anecdotally from a lot of sources that this actually does work, so clearly your mileage will vary. One of the best upgrades you can make to your computer is installing a solid state drive, or SSD, which is essentially a very fast hard drive that allows your computer to boot really quickly and launch apps really quickly. The problem is they tend to be fairly small, only 80 or 100 gigs usually. In a normal computer, this isn't a problem. You can install your operating system and all your programs on the SSD while keeping all your music and videos and other big files on a regular magnetic hard drive. In a laptop, you only have one hard drive slot though. What you can do is buy a product called the MCE OptiBay, which lets you replace your optical drive with another hard drive. That way you can install the SSD in the original hard drive slot install your old hard drive where the CD drive used to be, and then reap all the benefits of an SSD without any of the space constraints. For the full walkthrough, head to lifehacker.com. Good evening. It's intermission time. How about GoDaddy? With GoDaddy, you can get reliable, secure web hosting without the long-term contract. Hosting plans are bigger and better than ever with 99.99% uptime, free 24-7 support, and no annual commitment. Plus, you can download GoDaddy's free iPhone, Android, or BlackBerry app to manage domains and more, wherever you are. And as a Lifehacker viewer, you can get any .com domain for $7.99 when you use the code HACKER3 at checkout. You'll be supporting the show and securing the home for your next web project. It's showtime. We like to encourage do-it-yourself projects here on the show and on the lifehacker.com site, but there are times when you don't have the equipment, or it's not practical, or you just don't have the skill set to do it yourself, and so you shouldn't. Um, it's better to just find someone else, and I like to call that DDIY, or don't do it yourself. Um, sometimes it just makes more sense to go to somebody else, like when I had this keychain, custom keychain printed out of acrylic and cut, and I don't have an acrylic cutter, and I don't have acrylic, so it just made a lot more sense to go on Etsy Alchemy, which is a site where you can request certain uh, people to do all sorts of craft-related and, and uh, other customization projects for you for a price. And there are a lot of other sites you can go on. You'll see a few on your screen right now and some options where you can find more information on how to not do it yourself. So if you run into a situation where it just doesn't make sense to get a project together on your own, just DDIY, don't do it yourself. Hi, I'm Rachel, a Lifehacker intern, and today I'm going to show you how to customize your iOS home screen. And what you'll need are a jailbroken iPhone, Cydia, which is the app store for jailbroken devices, uh, iPhone Explorer, which will let you access your files, and Winterboard, which you download from Cydia. And mine looks like this, but it's really easy to customize. There are lots of themes out there. You open up Winterboard, you go into select your theme, which you've added through iPhone Explorer, and uh, once you respring, you have your home screen. For more specific instructions, go to lifehacker.com. All right, we're at the end, so it's time for the downloads of the day. Okay, let's get to it. If you're customizing your desktop, you're gonna wanna look at RainMeter for Windows, Geek Tool for Mac, and Conky for Linux. While each app differs in its functionality, they all essentially provide ways to put dynamic information and statistics like the time of the day or your CPU usage on your desktop. And they're skinnable too. Next we have Candy Bar, which is a really handy icon manager for the Mac. While it costs money, you can try it for free and it's really the best tool out there. Alternatively, there's Light Icon, which isn't quite as robust as Candy Bar, but it's completely free. Finally, we have Simple Desktops, which is a curated website filled with wallpapers that are clever, attractive, and distraction-free. Thanks for watching. Hopefully now some of your stuff's working a little bit better. See you later.